Are there cultural differences in the perception of orgasm and sexuality? Why do some women lose interest in sex during menopause? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. There are cultural differences in the perception of orgasm and sexuality. Attitudes may vary according to taboos, gender roles, sexual education, religion, social norms, and sexual diversity. It's important to recognize and respect these differences to promote a more inclusive understanding of sexuality globally. During menopause, hormone levels such as estrogen can decrease, leading to changes in vaginal lubrication and sexual desire. Hot flashes and other symptoms can affect interest in sex. However, many women can maintain a satisfying sex life with the help of appropriate therapies and treatments. Importance of safe sex. Safe sex is crucial for preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. The use of condoms and other contraceptive methods is key to healthy sexuality. Improvement in emotional well-being. Masturbation can be an effective way to reduce anxiety, improve mood, and promote emotional well-being by releasing tension and increasing the sensation of pleasure. Increase in vulnerable populations. Groups such as men who have sex with men, sex workers, people who use intravenous drugs, and those without access to health care are more susceptible to contracting STDs due to social, economic, and behavioral factors. In indigenous communities in North America, such as the Navajo in the United States and the Inuit in Canada, culturally relevant educational materials in native languages have been developed to teach about sexual and reproductive health. Influence in modern literature. The Kama Sutra has influenced modern literature, with authors incorporating its ideas and concepts into novels and essays about sexuality and human relationships. Influence on fashion. The Kama Sutra has inspired lingerie designs and erotic fashion that reflect the sensuality and intimacy celebrated in its teachings. Intimacy favoring positions. Some women prefer positions that promote greater intimacy and skin-to-skin -skin contact, such as full-body embrace or the lotus position, allowing them to feel more emotionally connected with their partner. Kama Sutra in Contemporary Art Contemporary artists use the Kama Sutra as inspiration to create provocative artworks that challenge social conventions and explore sexual diversity. Lasting Memories Memories of satisfying foreplay can linger long after the sexual encounter ends, strengthening the emotional bond and keeping the spark of passion alive in the relationship. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to various laws and regulations worldwide, with some countries imposing restrictions on its production, distribution, and viewing, while others have more lax or permissive laws. Luxury toys. There are luxury sex toys made with high-quality materials, such as gold, silver, or even diamonds. These toys are designed for individuals seeking exclusive and luxurious experiences in their intimacy. Masturbation and menstrual cycle. Some women experience an increase in sexual desire and frequency of masturbation during certain phases of their menstrual cycle, such as ovulation. Masturbation and partner communication. Openly discussing masturbation with a partner can foster greater understanding, trust, and emotional connection in the relationship. Masturbation. During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Masturbation. Masturbation is a common and healthy sexual practice that can help explore one's own body, relieve stress, and improve sexual self-esteem. It is a normal part of human development and is not associated with negative health effects. Mental stimulation. Sexual arousal in women can be closely linked to mental stimulation. Foreplay can involve erotic conversations, innuendos, and anticipation that set the stage for a satisfying sexual experience. 
In some Middle Eastern countries, safe and anonymous online spaces and mobile applications are being created to provide sexual education to young people, overcoming cultural and religious barriers related to access to information. Myths about sexuality. There are many myths and misconceptions about sexuality that persist in society, such as the idea that masturbation is harmful or that virginity is related to moral purity, which can negatively affect attitudes and sexual behaviors. Need for professional consultation. If premature ejaculation significantly interferes with a man's sexual life and emotional well-being, it is important to seek professional help from a doctor, sexual therapist, or counselor to find the best management and treatment strategies. In Nordic countries like Sweden and Norway, sexual education is integrated into the school curriculum from an early age, addressing topics such as consent, sexual diversity, and equitable relationships. Onset age. Premature ejaculation typically begins in adolescence or early adulthood, but it can persist throughout life if not properly treated. Partner's role. The partner's attitude and response to premature ejaculation can influence how the problem is perceived and managed. Open communication and mutual support can be crucial in addressing the situation. Podcasts and radio programs. There are radio programs and podcasts that address topics related to the Kama Sutra, offering debates, interviews, and advice on sexuality and relationships based on its principles. Pornography and sexual perception. Pornography can influence sexual perception and expectations, but it's important to recognize that pornography does not necessarily reflect reality and can distort ideas about sex, the body, and intimate relationships. Pregnancy fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal in the physical and hormonal changes associated with pregnancy. This can manifest as increased sexual interest in pregnant women. Prevalence. Anorgasmia affects people of all ages and genders. It is estimated that between 10% and 15% of women experience anorgasmia at some point in their lives. Professional treatment. For those individuals experiencing distress or difficulties due to their fetishes, seeking professional help from sex therapists or psychologists can be beneficial. Therapy can help address underlying concerns and provide strategies for managing fetishes in a healthy way. Psychology behind fetishes. Psychologists and sex therapists study fetishes to better understand their impact on people's sexual lives and how they can affect interpersonal relationships. Most fetishes are believed to be harmless and can be a normal part of human sexuality. Regulations and standards. In many countries, sex toys are subject to specific regulations and standards to ensure their safety and quality, including material testing and age-related sales restrictions. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,